Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on Portainer slash Docker Compose. Um, I, I did get a suggestion from a viewer to install this, so I thought I'd do it uh, today and get it all uh, shown and uh, show you how to do it. So, uh, a little bit about this series as I'm going over uh, uh, starting off our home from scratch. I'm going to go over installing things, getting things running, everything like that, and I try to go step by step on how to do everything. and. Um, so, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. So, I'm going to go over the Docker Compose, what I'll be using in Portainer. Stacks, stacks are just Docker Compose underneath. So, um, Docker Compose 2.1, the services, and then Home Assistant under that. And then the image is going to be Linux Server Home Assistant. And then I'm going to use the latest tag. I'm going to name this container Home Assistant. It's going to have a network mode of host. Then it's going to set some environment variables. And then the volumes are going to be HA config on the host side. And in the container, it's going to be config. I'm going to set the ports. I'm going to port forward 8123. And then it's going to be in the container, the host and the container. And now you can set some devices if you have USB devices, so, uh, serial devices. So, and then um, set restart. So, unless you stop it, it will restart. So, that's the Docker Compose. So, now I'm going to install the Docker Compose in the Portainer stacks. So, I'm going to copy what I have in the GIST, and the GIST will be down in the description so you can get to it easy. So I'm going to go over to my Portainer installation and I'm going to go to home and then I'm going to go to local and then I'm going to go to stacks over here and then I'm going to go to add a stack up here and I'm going to give the stack a name so HA stack and then I'm going to um, paste in what I ha had in the GIST. And um, if you need to install Portainer, I did a video on that, so it'll be down in the description. So, um, so everything looks right on that. So I'm going to deploy the stack. Once it's deployed, you will go into it. And then if you want to uh, change the um, Docker Compose script anytime, you can go up to Editor right here. And then you can change anything in here, and then you can update the stack. And you can either repull the image and redeploy. This makes uh, this means that it will repull the Docker container from the Linux server uh, repo, and then it'll pull it freshly into it and redeploy it. So um, you shouldn't need to do that. Just update the stack, but you can if you'd like. So now I can go in the container right here, and I can see the. It's, it's on the host network, so everything looks correct. HA config, and then in the container, it's config. So everything should be up and running. So you can go into logs right now, and you can see that it looks like it's up and running now, and we can get to installing it and setting it up. So now once you get it up and running, you're going to go to the So I'm going to go to the IP address of the portainer, and then I'm going to put the port of 8123 on it, and then I'm going to go to it. So now you're in the setup UI, and I'm going to type in my name, then I'm going to type in a password, and then I'm going to say create account, and then I'm going to type in states and then you can name your home system installation right here i'm going to press next i'm going to press next and then i'm going to press finish and then now you have it up and running and you'll have things automatically getting um getting discovered uh if you have a vahi running or a uh or, or mdns server running somewhere a proxy 
So you, you'll be able to have all this. If you have uh, devices in your home that are being auto discovered. So now you can go to system, you can go to hardware, and then um, you can see the process or memory usage. And um, you can go up here to restart home assistant or cancel. You do not have access to supervisor since this is not an operating system. So uh, you don't have access to the cont containers built for a home assistant. Um, this is just a Docker container for home assistant. So that's how to get home assistant running on Portainer. So I just showed you step by step on how to get home assistant Docker container running on Portainer stacks, which is Docker composed underneath. This makes it to where you can run home assistant about anywhere you want that is supported with Docker. Um, it just does not have supervisor uh, available and you would install the add-ons for Home Assistant. So, uh, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel. And if you have any suggestions, you can go down to the Big Bear community and put it in the suggestions form. And if you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and put it in the support form. And I'll be glad to help you as much as possible. Uh, be a little bit more detailed on air messages or anything you get so I can help you as fast as possible. So. Stay tuned for more.